Welcome back everybody to yet another episode of Just Cause 4. Today, I've got something very spicy for you guys. If you're not legally blind, you might have noticed something happening on screen right now. That is right, we have gotten a brand new update to Aaron's Entity Spawner, which lets us change the playable character to any character, any NPC from Just Cause 4. As I was browsing the NPCs, I have noticed quite a few interesting ones that were cut from the main game, which may be suggested as some sort of a potential DLC that was scrapped, or maybe some sort of a storyline that didn't come to fruition. But today, I'm just gonna be showing you guys the more interesting NPCs that I have found, and as you can imagine, they function perfectly fine. So, you know, you can wingsuit, you can just play the game like you usually do, but instead, you've got, for example, Sheldon. Just like that, yeah. I mean, look at it. Everything is behaving like it should. The animations, everything is looking fine. You've got the wingsuit, you've got the parachute, you obviously have the grapple, the weapons, everything. Obviously, some stuff does clip through. Like, for example, that bulletproof jacket, the bulletproof vest is clipping through the jetpack, but that's fine. You know what? I'm not gonna complain about that because this is goddamn sick. We can play as anybody in Just Cause 4. Ouch. Uh, yeah, the sound effects haven't changed, which is kind of to be expected. Because <laughs> this wasn't meant to be playable. You okay, Sheldy boy? So basically, all you have to do is open up the Aaron's Entity Spawner. You type in skin, and then you've got the list of all the NPCs that you can play as. And there's a lot of them, especially civilians. You've got female rebels, you've got male rebels, as you guys can see. And then you obviously have the main characters from the story as well. For example... You've got Caesar. His skin is looking kind of greenish. Is he a goblin? What the hell? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh god, it takes quite a long time to get down there. So this is kind of cool. You've got the young Oscar, the guy that we kind of killed at the end of the story of this game. Spoiler, to be honest, the story of this game doesn't matter. It's kind of trash. I'm not gonna lie. Just cause 4 story is very forgettable. I do not remember what happened. But you've got this guy. This beautiful baby-faced maniac, I guess. <laughs> Look at him. And then obviously, you can get the old version of him. Oh god. I feel like he's had a lot of plastic surgery. That is actually disgusting and repulsive to look at. What the hell? What have they done? And I will take this as evidence that Just Cause 4 multiplayer could have been a thing, boys and girls. Because look how easy it is to change the skins. So we could have been able to play as anybody in the game, you know? In multiplayer, so it wouldn't be like a million Ricos just roaming the open world. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, fantastic. I don't know why I said fantastic, as this man was basically falling to his death off of a cliff. Yo, there's even fabric animations on the suit. I am so confused. Why is this working so well? They must have had something in mind for changing skins of the characters. I mean, otherwise, it wouldn't be working so well. I remember Just Cause 3, it was very difficult to get different skins for the online mode, but this... This is working fantastically. So that makes me think they did actually plan Just Cause 4 multiplayer. But just never came out. So one thing that I found very interesting is the fact that they actually had a very interesting NPC that was never used, as far as I know, in the main story of Just Cause 4. The Dictator. They had this guy in there. Which makes me think that there was meant to be some sort of a Dictator of Solis, and it wasn't meant to be just overrun with the Black Hand and Gabriella leading them. Which would have been very interesting. I mean, look at this guy. He's got a golden revolver. You can kind of see that sticking out of his holster. A bunch of medals. He looks very similar to Dear Ravel. I'm not gonna lie. Obviously, the face is very different. And he seems very short. I mean, look how small he is. <laughs> and he's got a giant head. You can play around as a dictator in Just Cause 4, boys. This is fantastic. So not only did they have the dictator in this game, they also had a dictator guard. So an actual army that they were working on to protect this guy. I mean, you can see that he's kind of unfinished because he doesn't have a weapon in his holster. But this looks so cool. What does it actually say on his badges? Narection. Direction or erection? I don't even know anymore, buddy. So this makes me think that the story of Justice 4 might have been completely different if they had a little bit more time 
to develop the game or maybe this was from one of the cut DLCs that they might have been working on. I don't know, I'm just speculating at the moment, but it's kind of cool that we have these playable characters in the game at the moment using the entity spawner, because you know, we can kind of fantasize as to what if, you know, what would have happened if things weren't slightly differently for this game, you know, if we had multiplayer, if we had actual dictators in here, maybe the liberation system would have been back and everything, and it would have been fantastic, okay? And also look at this, you can play as Rico's father, I think we only saw him in one of the cutscenes in Just Cause 4, but if you wanted to, you can play as him. So this is boys a glimpse into Just Cause 5 and how Rico is going to look, a world exclusive right here boys and girls, he's gonna be wearing glasses, he's gonna have a fabulous beard, a very square face, and he's gonna be wearing a, uh, yeah, a scientist uniform I guess, why not? <laughs> what the? What you doing here, buddy? But my favorite NPCs, without a doubt, are the Black Hand Soldiers. I mean, just look at this for a second, okay? You've got the Snipey Boy, which looks so goddamn sick. I mean, imagine if we had multiplayer and we could change characters to some of these guys. That looks fantastic. It looks so good. You've got the Shieldy Boy as well. I gotta say, the helmet on this guy looks so cool and just the overall armor. The Black Hand operatives are actually cool looking units. The RPG enemy, he looks slightly retarded, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if I like that face. You've got the machine gunner, which is starting to look very chunky, I mean look at those muscles and those pouches. Holy shit, he's packing a lot, isn't he? The grenadier is by far my favorite looking helmet. All praise the big lord Tuchanka, okay? If you know that reference, if you have been playing a lot of Siege, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I used to be addicted to this game. Can you believe that I was Plat 2 at one point? Yeah, that's right. An actual elite gamer over here, boys. You've got the ghosts, which looks very similar to the sniper with the hood and everything, but they look kind of cool. Not my favorite looking unit, but I'm sure some of you will like this one. Oh my god. The holy grail of chunkiness. You can't even see this man's face because of all the armor and the exoskeleton. I mean, it's clipping through itself which is not the best, so yeah, this one is not very well done, or is, isn't is working very well, but it looks so cool. You've got the super elite enemy, I mean, he looks kind of average, I'm not gonna lie, don't like the balaclava, don't like the armor, he just looks like, I don't know, a giant target, especially with the red balaclava. Elite paratrooper, oh, now this, now this is a proper looking soldier, so these are the paratroopers. I don't think I have ever seen them used in this game. I know you can spawn them in and they will parachute if you're in the sky, but I don't think I have ever seen them used. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. What's the private enemy? Oh, okay, yeah, that's just the basic black hand operatives. They look terrible. <laughs> that uniform just looks so bad. But overall, I just really like the idea of having all of these different NPCs that we can mess around with at the moment. I mean, it would be so easy for Square Enix to just add them to the game in the form of the black market or even challenges, you know? You can unlock these guys as part of the monthly challenges that they keep coming out with. Because let's be honest, the skins that they give us... Yeah, they're not the best, uh, they kind of all look the same. I'm not gonna lie, uh, kind of terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not hating, it's just, you know, a friendly suggestion. Maybe bring out some of these skins that you already have in the game. Let us unlock them and play around with them. That would be pretty sick. Leave a like if you agree, boys. But anyway, guys, that is gonna do it for this episode of Just Cause 4. It was slightly a shorter one just to show you guys the stuff that we have found out using the new entity spawner. And I do have to say, it is pretty cool that we have actually found a working dictator inside of Just Cause 4. It would be cool, I'm not gonna lie, to have another dictator to fight and stuff like that instead of Gabriella which I kind of completely forgot about already. I have no idea what she did. I have no idea what she was there for. She kind of switched sides at the end, which was just like, eh. <laughs> That's my summary of the Just Cause 4 campaign. Yeah. <laughs> but if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like on it and subscribe if you're new to the channel for plenty more content like this. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you're gonna have a wonderful day and I shall see you guys next time. Take care, goodbye. Bye-bye, bye-bye.